Hi everyone. So right now we are looking at a poem titled Poetry Makes Nothing Happen by Julia Alvarez. And so you're probably familiar with that title, right? It was uh, taken from a poem that we also read for this unit by W.H. Auden. <laughs> And this, and so th there are similarities, right? This poem is very much interested in that distinction between the phys physical and the metaphysical, and what does the metaphysical, what, how, why is that important to us? You know, what, what is the purpose of taking a step back out of the physical world that we live in every day um, to reflect and to consider maybe some deeper meanings? Um, and so this poem starts out, uh, it's, it has three stanzas total. And in the first stanza, right, we see two actions that could have, or the implications are bad things could have happened, but nothing happened, right? The first example is this guy, Mike, who um, poetry helped him stay awake uh, when he was driving. And then the second example is of a woman, May, uh, who was apparently considering suicide, um, but instead she fell asleep reading a poem by Yeats, um, When You Are Old, which is a wonderful poem, and if you have a minute, you should look it up. Um, right, and that was good, as the poem tells us, given, given what May had in mind. Um, and then we see some other examples of these kind of near misses and close calls, right, um, of Jenny on her ride home, right, and how reading a poem helped her digest some really horrible news that she got. Um, and then a nursery rhyme, right, and kind of it brings up this idea of power, um, right, how if only poetry had made nothing happen, right? If only the president had listened to Auden, right? And um, in here, right, it's, it's, it just takes a step back out of those specific examples and helps us see kind of the larger point that the poet is trying to make, not that poems make points, but, you know, the perspective the poet was sharing, um, right? So, there are folks who, who will swear a poem has never done a thing for them, except, right, perhaps adjust the sunset view one cloudy afternoon, which made them see themselves or the world in a different light. Degrees of change so small, only a poem registers them at all. <laughs> right, so this idea of how poems can sometimes help you think about things a little bit different way or help you notice something that maybe you hadn't seen before, um, and just those slight shifts in our perspective can have a big impact on how we understand ourselves, how we understand the world around us, right? And so these last two lines are so powerful, right? That's why they can be trusted, why poems might still save us from what happens in the world, right? So again, that idea of a distance, right, between kind of our physical environments in which we live and that metaphysical space that we need in order to make sense of that world. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Again, I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this in our upcoming discussion board. So take care and we'll talk soon.